Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 12 of Forbidden Deductions. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. This almost feels like the start of the millionaire detective for a moment. I was like, oh. Bless you. What Oh, for a moment, I thought we were not getting an opening today. This one's not as good as the strawberry one. I'm sorry. <laughs> Somebody's gonna relate to that. <laughs> I can imagine somebody watching this <laughs> me saying I'm hungry though. Me too. <laughs> I love me. A smart. Oh my god, the fucking boys. <laughs> Shut up. Which is... So you think you were possibly maybe injected with something? Well, of course the records are moving. It'd be too freaking easy! Right? Be a good person. You don't know that though.
Let's send the Itadori to Yuji. Baby has all the wellness and hope right now, even though he's depressed as fuck on Thursdays. <laughs> mhm. Mm It does make me wonder that with this case being also a two-parter, which is a good thing. You do that for a finale, yes. Um, is Blonde Kirito, aka the one who's related to Moriarty, is he gonna make one final appearance in these one of these last two episodes? Oh hell no. Nah. I hope she's not going to jump. Oh! Okay, time to go. Time to go. Time to go. Time to go. Get out. Get the fuck out. Mm -mm. It's time to go. It's time to go. Let's go. Shit, be careful, my ass. <laughs> When's the next bus coming? Because we need to go. Oh my god. I, I, this is dangerous. <laughs> like a one kill on Simpsons? Uh oh. I'm in danger. <laughs> no, it's not. Uh -oh. <laughs> I'm in danger. You're in danger, God dang it. Go home. Okay, so either he's going to die or the little man's going to die. But it could be him. Yeah, I, I think he's definitely going to be the one to die. I mean, it's a little obvious those death flags are kind of dear, so don't be surprised if we see his dead body in a couple of minutes.
right? Ain't that a little fishy, though? But, I mean, hey, that's Florida weather, too, in a nutshell. Because one minute it could be raining somewhere and then it rain somewhere else. Maybe she might die. And black syrup. You see something? Oh. I see the snake. But the, no, not only that, it looked like there were, yes, yes, go. Oh my God, we're about to have a case that we're not going to get anything answered. Lights? The hell? When, when you guys just saw them. But where's the body, though? What the fuck did I say? But clearly that's rope. Strangled. Oh, okay. Then strangled. Right? And I don't think it was the old man because no old man could be ho hosting up some man some... I can't speak. No old man can be host ho holding or hoisting someone as big as him. Not no dead body, so it can't be him. friend a friend <laughs> right 
Right. And the offering was Yeah. You might be looking a little creepy and suspicious. Okay, then we need to go wrap it up. It's time. Guess what? It's time to fucking leave. We need to go. Exits this way. Come on. Bye-bye. Y'all gonna fucking die. What in the Junji Ito is this? Oh my god. That's a little weird though. Because I'm guessing it's not supposed to be closed until like winter on. Yeah. Right. But yeah, you heard that loud bang. But what if the loud bang was the body falling over? Or the killer pushing the body over? Ah, uh, no! Right? Did you check on the... No basement? No nothing? Seriously? There's gonna be something you're missing though.
What's wrong? Don't tell me there's another body. Hmm? Wait, wait. So, wait, there's something other than the, the tatami mats? There has to be. Okay. But now the question is who did it? Like I said, I don't think it's the old man because, no, when you're older, of course, you can't hold as much as you used to when you were younger. Um, so, it can't be him. I. It could be his gr the granddaughter. Um, but just like that, like, because mm, the way her body is, because she doesn't have muscle, so I don't think she could hold her, his body weight as much as hers. Um, so it has to be any other person that we met. So the guy in purple, and then maybe any of the other village people, possibly. But it's all for the damn, right? And maybe the, the etchings, the markings on the tatami mats is what we saw in last the previous night and stuff. But he still had, quote unquote, snake marks and stuff, which clearly look like rope marks, obviously. There were times when they zoomed out of it and such. And when you're looking at it, it kind of look like some snake marks on it. And see, this is why I don't deal with snakes. I don't do it anything nature like that. Mm -mm. I'm not a nature girl. Mm -mm. Not no nature girl. Not no Dido boo up with no nature. No. <laughs> Seriously, I could not do it. <laughs> so one of my friends said, oh my god, Deja, let's go camping. I'd be like, oh my god. <gasps> no, let's go glamping. That means I still have to get a nice good bath and a nice good shower. Even though like laid back camp made me kind of all love. With camping, I still wouldn't do it. Now, maybe if you pay me. But we have to have that conversation. <laughs> but, yeah, honestly, right now, I'm, I'm a little stumped on who did it. Of course, everybody doesn't really like the victim because the fact is the deceased wanted to change things to the dam and such and possibly almost get rid of it. Um... So, of course, whoever did it, they did it for the sake of the dam and the whole community as a whole. But um, it does make me wonder how this is really going to end next week. How all of this is going to be, you know, wrapped up in a nice, neat little bow. Um, if there is a potential for a second season, I think because this has been an underdog season and um, underrated show, that it did get a little bit of hype. I, I think, you know, from the people who really, the community who is watching this and such, I have not seen a lot of people talk about this show. Um, I would love, really love to see this go to second season, especially because, you know, Itadori's, you know, Seiyu is doing really a damn good job in, like, anything that he's, um, been in. And I love the fact that, you know, with, with Seiyu's who are in big, high, popular as hell shows that they get to get into shows like he's not only done this but before this he did um the uh oh my god what the hell is the name of the show i don't remember um oh no no no, no. over the moon for you he did over the moon with you um over the moon for you with nezuko's um say you and that came out i think around the time when we were halfway done with season one of Jujutsu Kaisen and so I was like at first I was taken back because like that wasn't my first role with him it was actually Jojo because you know he was barely in there and he, he played a character I didn't like and then when he left I was happy <laughs> so re-watching it now with that show I'm like oh damn um but seriously I would love to see like this show get a potential second season because there's so much that they could do especially with the Moriari kids or not kids his legacy and such and because we haven't seen those two 
since, you know, the episode at the freaking island and such, it would make sense to kind of have them do one last appearance before the show is over next week. But it's really up to them. It, it's, you know, it's in their hands. The cards are laid down. It's your freaking play. Do whatever you're going to do in the last episode, but hopefully... I would want it. I'm just saying. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to Rebirth episode 12 of Forbidden Deductions. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Monday for the final episode. And it's funny, it's also going to be on Christmas. So thank God I only have one thing to do. And I'm off next week. Thank goodness. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.